A guy named Joel Schlesinger returned an overdue library book after 24 years. Now, the maximum fine is $15, but he knew his hometown library was dealing with a budget crunch. After calculating his fine of 10 cents per day over 24 years, he drove 400 miles and paid a fine of $2,190. Obviously, people asked him about this over and above act of generosity, and he said, I hope they can do some good things with it. Maybe buy some books. Jesus talked about money and generosity a lot. Scholars calculate that almost one out of every four of Jesus' teachings that we have in the scripture dealt with money, greed, or generosity. Our hearts are connected to stuff. And when we're generous, we take a step towards true freedom. In a world that tells us we need to acquire more and get more stuff to be secure, let's resolve to be generous with whatever it is that we have. When we live generously, we remind ourselves that our true security is in a more trustworthy source than money.